So I was in high school and um, there were seniors that were already going to gay bars. I think I was a freshman and they had invited me to go to a gay club with them. That to me was very traumatic because um, when they told me we're all gonna go out to a, a, a club on a Friday night, don't worry about IDs, they knew the doorman. And I don't know, how old are you when you're in ninth grade? You're like 16 to 15? So I was a pretty big kid, already six foot. So I, I got dressed up in a suit and when they picked me up, they were like, why, why are you in a suit? And I was like, I just wanted to look older. So we get to the bar and it was called the Rendezvous. And um, that was traumatic. I mean, I sat there at the bar because there were all these men dancing with each other. There were men like kissing. And my exposure to gay life then were a lot of uh, um, very feminine men transsexuals it was a, a just a whole different thing to see all these white men dancing and kissing and they look like regular men and they were you know latins and that was traumatic i mean when somebody tried to talk to me i wouldn't move i couldn't turn my head i was like that was traumatic because i was exposed to a whole new world of, of you could be anything kind of look to be gay. So I came out to a friend, I think I was um, 15, and um, it was over the phone, and it was really kind of uh, long and drawn out, because I was, you know, trying to prepare her for this really big news that I was gay. And after like 15 minutes of beating around the bush, and and I finally, you know, said it like, you know, I, I'm gay. And she just laughed, and I was like, oh great, I just lost my best friend in the whole world. And I asked her what was so funny, and she says, uh, I I knew that, and that was the shock for me because I was like, what do you mean you knew that? And she goes, I, I I always knew you were gay. So that was my big coming out. I, it was very traumatic for me, but she found it hilarious because she knew. So whenever I meet new people and they're not aware that I'm gay, I let them know. So because it's it's um, more or less not not just to empower myself, but to empower them that that I could be who I am in taking out of the normal situation of, of gayness or whatever that be like I was PTA president for my son's school so of course I let people know that I'm gay because I'm a gay parent and I'm supporting my son in his school so that's something that coming out is empowering them to know that I'm a gay dad even in family situations you know um, when they say oh are you married and I go and at the time I go yeah my partner and I would name my partner and they would just give me this look like, did he just say a man's name? You know, so yeah, coming out, I, I come out all the time. You know, I feel it's necessary. It, it normalizes everything because if, if more of us just speak on it as being normal, it becomes normal. One day I would like to get married in a Samoan church, you know, so maybe I'll be the first to do that. So to come out all the time to make things normal which is kind of funny, I'm hearing myself saying that, you know, to get married in the Samoan church, I had shared that with somebody and they were like, that will never happen. That will, they will never allow it. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it. So yeah, coming out is very important. It, 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 it normalizes everything. If you approach something with a calm manner, it doesn't allow somebody to be hostile towards you. Now, if they have that much hostility built up towards me being gay, that is that becomes their issue. I do feel that I do have a, a, a responsibility. My voice is gonna, you know, continue to speak on it because I can, because I'm comfortable with.
with it because I've been empowered to be a strong gay man, you know? So I know there are brothers and sisters out there who whose voices want to be heard and who can be heard through me. I'm human, I make mistakes too, but I'm gonna make sure I carry whatever torch, whatever flag that is to make somebody else feel comfortable to come out. Um, let me be that voice if they can't be it. We tend to overthink. I think if, if parents, poly parents, um, stop overthinking the issue, because it's not an issue, you know, love your children, if, even if they're straight, there is no difference. You know, the only difference is, is when you treat them differently. So, you know, my message to parents is like, get over it. You know, move on. There are other much more important things like their health, their education, their future. For, for parents to worry about their sexuality, are you kidding me? You know, our children are dying of are being diagnosed with diabetes and, and obesity and, and you're worried about their sexual preference, you know, get over yourself. You know, you love your children. So I think that's the message to our parents. Stop overthinking this. It, it's not an issue. It's the way we are. You know, it's, 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 we're going to be here. So just uh, relax and get educated. You know, and um, and continue. You know.